hi, this is the first lab that you're going to do in your kitchen. And I'm going to do it in my kitchen, and I'd like to see how you do it. You'll write a lab report about it. In order to do this, we need these ingredients. We need common vinegar. This is either white vinegar or cider vinegar. It's very inexpensive in the store. That will be our first reactant. Our second reactant is baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. And that is available for about a dollar, so about two dollars. We'll need a toilet paper, an empty toilet paper roll. Don't use it with the toilet paper on it. And we'll need a candle. This is my candle, glowing bright. And, of course, you'll need your matches. And two glasses. Now, this is, I want you to be thinking about what enables a candle to uh, burn. And the wax is, of course, melting and it's going up the wick, and then the oxygen from the air goes and supports the flame. So you have a reaction there. That is a reaction of burning, combustion. Now, what we're going to do is, I will take about a teaspoon of baking soda, put it in there, and then I will put about a quarter cup of vinegar in there. And then, this is where you might need help. You might get somebody to stand with you and do it. Because I'm going to put my, my toilet paper holder there. My assistant is holding this. Then I'm going to put the baking soda in with the vinegar. I'm going to hold it up there. And the flame begins to flicker, and it goes out. Now, the challenge for you is to figure out what, what happened. What happened when the baking soda and the vinegar reacted? And then what happens with our flame? Why did our flame go out? So I'd like you to write a lab report and include pictures of you doing it and your setup, and Put it, send it in an email to me after you do the lab report according to the format. So here, this is a, a very deep uh, reaction. It involves a lot of things. And so I'd like you to give me formulas and explanations. So that's the end of experiment one.